Hello, my name is Janet, and today I am going to teach you how to mask a image onto a collage foreground using the um, app PixArt. And so we're going to choose Edit, and we are going to go to the Tool option and click Selection because I've seen that this is the best way to mask out on PixArt. Um, we're going to use the Brush tool, the Inverse tool, the Erase tool, and you're just going to kind of see how it goes. First, let me teach you like when you are brushing it comes out red and just be sure you know that whenever whatever is red is what you're going to save so if you inverse it to make sure you're masking properly be sure to inverse back to get the character and not save the background I am telling you this because I, would, I did it from me just being not smart so yeah so it could be a waste of time and also you have to be very careful when masking it, it, it's actually a lot simpler than before but it's still a challenge so I kind of speeded up this process and it looks kind of glitchy but hopefully you kind of get the gist of it you basically want to get the character and you want to get the character as best as you can I kind of did it a little choppy because I just didn't want to waste too much time recording but you take your time you do everything you need to do you follow your bases um, and just kind of play around a little bit um, so now you have the mask area and to the best of your ability you're gonna save it to save to clip art and make sure it's saves to clip art and make sure that the character you want that you're saving is red and not the background or something like that um, and also I just wanted to show you that when you use the selection tool you're actually only editing the character so if you want to continue working with the background that um, Hades is on or your character is on you know you kind of keep it and you just kind of just edit it but that's just what I wanted to show you here um, this is we're going to go to a completely different area so now we're going to exit out of this option and we're going to add in the collage my my Pixar collage was kind of glitching so I kind of went to pick um, I, I used the app Photostein I mean so that's where I ed edited this but if your Pixar collage is working you go for it and then I went to my clip um, my clip art and I added Hades in and then um, you also have the option to continue masking but I hate this option because you cannot zoom in and out and it's not as great as the selection tool so make sure when you're um, on the selection tool make sure that you are doing a fine job at the brushing because then you it's kind of hard fixing it when you're on this option even though it's here it's nice but it could be better I kind of wish that it was you could zoom in and out at the very least because you still have the brush tool so you can still brush in and brush out which is really helpful but again it would have been helpful if you could zoom in and out and I can't I don't know if it's just my pixar glitching but hopefully uh, I don't know but yeah it wasn't working so I just kind of had to go with it and you can't really see what I'm doing but I was trying to mask it better um, but then I was just like okay yeah it's it's, it's alright for this tutorial then I went to curves and started adding the brightness um, if you lower it looks different so you can mess around with that however you want it I kind of wanted it brighter and then I just kind of started messing around with the blur tool and also a, a thing that I like about the effects on um, Pixar is the fact that you could play around with it like you could erase out the um the effect and just go to the original and it's i, I kind of like that option it's, it's a nice option to have so this is just me playing around but you could do that so just so you know um, there's a lot of features on pixar that you kind of want to get to know now i'm messing around with the smart blur you can't really see clearly on the video but it, it's actually looking a little nice and blurry and i kind of liked it so i just kept i kept messing around with the smart blur so yeah, you could do a lot of things on PixArt and I'm still messing around with it. I actually messed around with a lot more features, but um, it, it made the video really long. So you play around with PixArt, you find out what you're best at. Like, that is just the key. Learn your program and you will be able to make awesome things. So now, just adding up a little thing. I think I'm going to add a little glares or lens. I, I, I don't know what the option is called. But yeah, I started messing around with that even though you can't really see what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm adding a little lens flare all up in there because, you know, because I can. And yeah, this is pretty much the whole tutorial. And Pixar is kind of awesome when you know how to use it. Um, so all the information is below. 
like requests are below i have my email request below and you could just check out my website and yeah i'll talk to you later and see ya bye yeah i'll just wait until it ends but before i officially officially end this video i just wanted to let you know that my clip arts will always be there after you have masked them out and saved them to clips art so yeah just wanted to let you know that little tip so remember just go to the selection tool mask out to the best of your ability make sure you the red area is what you want to save and yeah um save it to my clip arts and it will be there in case you want to edit that same screen cap again in another edit so yeah helpful tip i'll see you in my next video